This is a reading of the article, California Cows Produce Pollution, by James Owen for National Geographic News. Cows eat grass all day and would not seem to be a problem to our environment. But the cows in California have just been labeled as a risk to our environment's health. This month, the government gave a report that said dairy cows are the biggest source of pollution in San Joaquin Valley, California. This is not just true in California, but all around the world, and people are starting to worry. A dairy cow puts out almost 20 pounds or nine kilograms of pollution per year. This is more than a car or a small truck. There are 15 studies on California and the scientists found that the cows put out twice the amount of pollution than originally thought. This means there will be more rules for keeping the air clean on dairy farms in the area. The San Joaquin Valley is home to 2.5 million cows. The dairy farms are doing very well and more farms will open in the area. These new farms will bring 400,000 more cows to the area in the next few years. But even though the dairy farms are doing well, they are also known for their pollution. In the last six years, the California Valley has broken the limit on pollution levels more than any other area of America. The valley air has some of the worst air in the entire country, said Kelly Hogan Malay of the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District. Cars pollution. Environmental groups blame air pollution for health problems like asthma, but dairy farmers say people are just blaming their cows when cars are the real problem. Malay says cars are a much bigger source of air pollution overall because they put out several pollution molecules. The molecules that cars put out do add to the ozone layer which traps the sun's heat. But the molecule that cows put out is worse than the others. It traps 21 times as much heat as other molecules. The name of the molecule that cows put out is methane, which has carbon in it. Scientists say that animals such as cows and sheep, or livestock, are responsible for about 20% of our global methane. In more rural com communities, as such as 50% of the methane comes from livestock, said Jamie Newbold, professor at the Institute of Rural Sciences in Aberystwyth, Wales. Newbold is one of the scientists that is testing to see how farm animals change the atmospheric pollution. This field is sometimes joked about as fart science by people who do not believe her. Actually, it's burping, not farting, that's the problem, Newbold said. A full-grown dairy cow can burp 400 to 500 liters which is 106 to 132 gallons of methane a day. The bacteria in the animal's stomach helps break down grass and other foods. This makes the methane. Humans also make methane in their stomach, but not as much. When people produce methane, it's only a few teaspoons or milliliters. This is because humans don't have the same bacteria in their stomach since we don't eat grass. Losing money. This pollution isn't just bad for the environment. Livestock farmers are going to lose some of their money. When cows eat food that makes more methane, it means they make less milk and meat. Food that lowers the amount of methane made would allow them to make more milk and meat. This is good for farmers because they can make more money on the milk and meat. 
Scientists are trying to make medicine that will reduce the amount of methane cows make in their stomachs. There is also a vaccine that is being made that will reduce the amount of the methane producing bacteria in a sheep's stomach. Newbold's group of scientists are working to produce something that will prevent methane from building up in a cow's stomach. The hope is that many of these solutions will not be too expensive for farmers. Cattle and livestock are only part of the problem, he added. There are a lot more molecules that are produced by cars than by cows. But cows do make a contribution, and they should be part of the solution.